All right, hey guys, uh, today we're looking at some products from uh, Great Plains Creations. Uh, so we've got this uh, shroud piece for Bofang radios and then a U94 push-to-talk shroud. So uh, push-to-talk shrouds aren't necessarily a new concept. I think Matt Block's been making them for a while. I want to say that's who it was. Uh, other people uh, saw that and then they started cutting uh, bottle cap. Uh, so you drill a hole out of the bottle cap and then kind of camo form tape it on top of the button so you have to actually push into the bottle cap to push the button down so it's not a new concept uh, but this is a crazy low profile option uh, if that's a concept that interests you it's got a really nice scallop shape here so uh, it's not like the bottle cap thing where like you're smashing down trying to find the button and potentially hitting those little little torn pieces on the bottle cap uh, it would be a stretch, but you could you could cut your finger on one of those things. This just has a really nice finish to it. It guides your finger right in there to the button while still keeping it safe. Um, and then the Bofang shroud uh, is is molded very nicely uh, so that it'll fit onto your radio, and it'll shroud your call button, your push to talk, uh, your monitor button. They're all still accessible in there uh, if you need them. Uh, they also protect the volume knob, which is, in my opinion, kind of a bigger deal because this thing can be super annoying. You can turn off your radio and not know it, or uh, you might have your radio off in your kit or something, and then it gets turned on, which isn't great either. Uh, you'll notice this is sitting just a hair wonky. Uh, don't hold that against him. I didn't take the screws out yet to install it, uh, but I can show you how that works. Taking the antenna off is not super necessary uh, to install it, but these two screws here on the back plate, uh, you'll swap those out with some included screws, uh, which I think give you just a little bit more length to help hold that shroud in place. Uh, so if those had been removed and I properly installed this thing, everything would sit exactly where it was supposed to, and it would keep all those buttons safe while still keeping them accessible. Uh, and you can see the push to talk shroud here once it's installed. You gotta pull out all four screws uh, to get it in there. There's individual screw holes in there. I know it looks like uh, it's potentially just one large recess there. Not the case. If I had to critique anything on here, that would be my only annoyance is if it would, it would be cool if you could somehow skip two of the screws. Uh, so these outer two screws are what hold the push to talk together. And then the inner two secure the uh, the clip on the back uh, so if you could skip those outer two it would be nice i think uh to just free up the ability the the need to take all four screws out there's a lot of threads on there for how small they are uh, and it just takes a little while to thread them back in there uh, but you can see the the button itself is recessed right but very accessible good click like it's not interfering with anything it's not binding up at all uh, it doesn't come over onto the back side at all, so if you've already got this thing mounted on your kit, you can still uh, put the, the shroud on there without having to undo everything, probably. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the clip mounting securely, like you don't lose any depth there that keeps it from getting a good grip on the, the clip. Really, really nicely done. Uh, very, very cleanly molded, and uh, the scale on there is is just right. Like, it doesn't add any real thickness to the unit or width to the unit uh it it adds a hair this dimension uh but it, it just sits really cleanly these things are you know 3d printing just kind of blows my mind uh in the first place but the the ability that folks have to design stuff that that fits so well uh is really mind-blowing to me uh, the one downside potentially on the shroud piece uh for the the radio itself depending on how you want to look at things is it won't play well with any of the, the Kydex carriers to my knowledge, uh, but it does kind of negate the need for a Kydex carrier uh, because once you pop this on your radio and uh, everything that matters is kind of shielded, you can throw it back into a soft pouch and you're not gonna have uh, any of the, the typical issues that you would have with a Bofang in a, just a straight nylon pouch. Uh, I think, you know, future versions, it might be neat if uh, if he could somehow protect the uh, push to talk connection there, you know, kind of bring this down in a U shape and uh, help guard that a little bit. 
That would be really the only thing that I would add to the, the radio shroud itself. Uh, other than that, it, it is really well done and uh, no complaints. So thanks for letting me check these out, guys.